Good morning, Larry at Hagemeister Enterprises. Today we're going to talk about mechanical voltage regulators and switching them over to electronic to keep that original appearance. Let's go over to the bench and take this apart and show you what I'm talking about. So this voltage regulator is an original equipment replacement for a uh, mid to late 60s Ford product. Uh, 12 volt negative ground. That's critical that we know that, 12 volt negative ground. Years ago, there used to be companies in the U.S. that rebuilt old mechanical regulators. And that was because we had so many of them. They're not as prevalent anymore but there's still people that like that original look because they're still using a generator and they need it to be re reliable. Let's see what we got inside here. A uh, customer sent us this voltage regulator because he's got an older Falcon that he's been struggling with buying voltage regulators uh, to get him to work. So he sent us this to uh, convert it to electronic. Let me just show you what's inside here. So here's the internal coils of the of the voltage regulator and you can see by the rust here that it is it is quite old and uh, obviously it's quit working that's why he wants us to uh, to convert it for him now we're going to uh, go ahead and disassemble these coils and get this regulator cleaned up in a flat surface so we can install our electronic components and we'll test it and see what it looks like okay here's the finished product we've got the conversion done here is the uh, coils that we removed from the original regulator. Uh, you want to remember that these coils are heat sensitive. These regulators change voltage as they heat up and, uh, and that type of thing. So actually the cap when they're installed even changes the voltage on these uh, old mechanical regulators. They were really good in the day, but we just don't have the means to do that kind of windings anymore uh, at any kind of economical cost. Here's the electronic conversion right here. You can see the components are all inside here, fits under the cap. And being electronic, it's not as heat sensitive as those are. So it works really good when we do this conversion. And the cap sets right on and put the screws in and this is good to go. Okay, we got this finished. Let's go to the shop, check on the boys, give this a test, and we'll send it back to the customer. Come on, let's go to the shop. Here we go. We got our voltage regulator set up in the test bench here. This is a conversion we did, and we're going to show you how that works. Again, 12 volt negative ground. The great thing about it is if you've got a 6 volt generator you can use that because our regulator will work uh, on 12 volt but you can still use your existing 6 volt generator and then you got a 12 volt system. We're all wired up here let's turn on our bench see what we got here we got 12 and a half volts in our battery let's go ahead and start it and see what it does. Came right up to 14.3 everything's working perfect nice and stable voltage we got about 10 amps. We've got our amperage came down because we're charging the battery, 14.3. Let me put a little load on it. Up to 30 amps. That works fine. The thing we're after is we've got a real stable voltage. And we can just set our cap on. As I said, it all looks original. Works great. So this is all set to go back to the customer and we can do these in uh, just about any voltage regulator. We just need to see what you have and what your needs are. If you need something like that, we'd be glad to help. 